Hi, this is Jeff Fink at Raymarine, and what I'm going to show you here today is how to make sure you have the correct chart selected on the Raymarine multifunction display. So what we do first is we go from the home screen and we choose our chart plotter, and then in the upper right corner you touch the menu, you go to presentation, and then chart selection. And according to what charts you have inserted in the machine, it will give you a selection. So here we can choose CMAP, Navionics nautical charts, Navionics sonar charts, or the Raymarine lighthouse charts. And just by touching the button allows you to select what chart you're going to look at on the screen. If any information pertaining to that chart comes up on the screen, you should read because it may ask you that your subscription needs to be renewed or something to that effect is happening with that particular chart. So that's how you do your chart selection on the Raymarine products. What I'm going to speak about now is the Navionic Sonar Charts and Sonar Charts Live. One thing to consider, if you have purchased a new Navionics chart, you have to make sure that chart is registered with Navionics so that you can activate those advanced functions, which is Sonar Charts and Sonar Charts Live. To do that, you need an active fish finder on your boat to be able to get the depth information to do those sonar charts, and you also need an active GPS. So when you go into the menu on your chart plotter, and you go down here to where it says Presentation, and then Depth and Contours, and you will see a tab down here that says Sonar Logs, you turn those on, then you go back here to Advanced Options, and it allows you to turn your Sonar Charts Live on. And what Sonar Charts Live does is that as your vessel is moving over the, over the underwater structure, it's actually updating the chart as you're moving along. So you are getting immediate instant information on the depth changes and contour changes that are happening underneath your boat. A really great feature to keeping your maps the most up-to-date they can be.